We've recently won the, the Marsh Award for a committee. This was a, a great honour, great privilege. I think the reason we won it is that we're involved in a huge range of activities. Church trails, church recording, young arts, charitable programme of, of looking for organisations and partnerships in the area where we can support their arts and heritage causes. And the key to it, I think, is, uh, is the teamwork on the committee that's made all this, this happen. As a committee, everybody pulls together. We are focused on not only what our members would like by having a very good speaker secretary who recruits excellent speakers, by having very good days of special interest, by having excellent talks and teas and other events, many of which actually raise money as well as giving the members a good time. The lectures are so good, you know, even things you thought you weren't interested in, you come away thinking, oh, you know, I can go and research, that sort of thing. And we do absolutely everything, you know, from sort of Punch and Judy to Picasso, and then we do corkscrews to Canaletto, so everything in between. So it's a really good society. We have super study days where we get three lectures and a wonderful lunch. And when you think about the cost of it, it is nothing. It gets everybody together. And our day trips that we have out are really, really good. I really enjoy those. We go to all sorts of different places. And I really like them because if I take my friends there, I can tell them all the things I've learned and they think I'm very clever. <laughs> it was great to be involved in an organisation that wanted to help our students who were so enthusiastic about the arts and trying to encourage the arts when it seems to be a subject that isn't so readily available anymore. So yeah, we were really excited about live competitions and live project briefs. That helped work with our work experience levels and trying to increase students' profile. It helps on their CVs. It's really, really positive experience. I think it would be brilliant for every school to be involved in it. When you've got people who want to encourage the arts and give away money and encourage competitions, I don't see why they wouldn't get involved. Well, what I was really impressed with the Rekin Society is their communication with schools was excellent. And the first arts project we did, we used a private prep school and invited for four state schools to come along. They were given an art pack that related to the lecture, and then after the lecture, they studied the pack and then did a competition. And I thought that was a winning formula. The Art Society is such good value. I mean, it's not much more than a cappuccino for one lecture. I also think that uh, it's a great prospect for grandparents to enthuse the young about art. In order to show our support of organisations, I've persuaded speakers um, and venues to accept donations in lieu of fees. And that's um, been very successful because we've generally been able to give people more than they would have charged. In the last year we have given over £8,000 to support local charities. Um, that's, uh, it's been churches, Western Park, Ironbridge Gorge Museum um, and other uh, smaller organisations. The Art Society, they volunteered for us for over four years now working on specific projects, helping with cataloguing a lot of the collection and cleaning it and making sure it's stored properly. It's really great to have a group of people that can come in and just do like a specific project and focus on it and get it done and it all needs to be done as part of collections management but what they they enable us to do that really quickly so it's so helpful it means researchers can come in and use these catalogues well, I've used their research and exhibitions we've done recently and of course this gallery you can see what they helped us achieve. Rob will be a difficult person to follow but I'd like to just carry on improving the camaraderie and uh, companionship that we provide for our members because some of them are single people they found themselves on their own they can be lonely and I'd like to see if we can improve on that as much as we can to make it a, a social happy society as well as providing some very good artistic lectures and visits. I think we're in a really good place uh, everybody is still incredibly committed and and I think the success we've had, not just the Marsh Award success, but the success we get when members 
come back and tell us, oh, that was a great lecture, or that was a great visit, or isn't it exciting that we're involved with that church, or my local church is doing a stained glass restoration, do you think we can fund that? And we do. I mean, we constantly get people, our members, saying how valuable our work is. Our committee members want to build on that, and there's nothing to stop them doing that.